Patty Letourneau and her sons light the torch of life. It's a symbol of hope in a difficult time. Letourneau's husband has cancer and will die without a new liver. Help. Alyssa Sabero carries a torch for her mom, who watches from the hospital window above. Claremont Humphrey is still in pain, as you might expect, just eight days after major abdominal surgery. After the ceremony, a torch was lit by Toronto police and carried to the hospital for sick children to raise awareness about sickle cell. I see you out. The only way to save my brother now is for him to receive a bone marrow transplant from a matching donor. This is our only hope and our only chance to save my brother's life. Bella Gon Sai Bao Hi Boy Wai Jobon Just Stephen Chan Zhao Sick Hub Kun Zhang. And if we don't do something to change this, she's not going to be around. George Marcello in the tracksuit will make the 450-kilometer trek to Ottawa to raise awareness for the so-called Spanish model. There, the law presumes everyone... Can ...that a national registry system will be put in place. If everybody here agrees with what I just said, say amen. amen. That's an agreement. That's what I believe we receive it. I ask these things in the name of your son. Amen. Um, if we may, I'm just wondering if we can just take another moment. Today's the uh, first week uh, since we all heard the tragic news in uh, America. We can just take... George Marcello is an organ transplant survivor who lives to help others in his situation. I'm walking across Canada to promote the uh, benefits and importance of organ donations. George Marcello's walk across Canada will take almost a year and a half. His desire to educate people about organ This is what it's all about. You know, this is why I, I, I had that desire right when I woke up from that operation, was to, to acknowledge that act that people unselfishly make. You know, like it's, it's a tremendous act that it's got to be the most godlike act that, that, that's around, you know, to donate your organ so that someone else can live. Just think about that. You know, it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, this is a very tremendous day, and uh, it's just, uh, there's miracles happening all around here, Joe. You know this is just fantastic. I can't believe it. What do you think? Hell yeah. <laughs> This torch was uh, lit up at uh, Vatican City on September 5th, 2001, and Pope John Paul II blessed this torch. 11:05 a.m. Uh, he made a proclamation that organ and tissue donation was a genuine act of love. For some reason, I don't know. He he probably in his wisdom, he probably knew there was going to be a long journey ahead. I I just I have that feeling. Huh? pass the torch to the students, for they shall be the ambassadors of this issue. And uh, I carried out those words faithfully for the next 10 years. And we've gone through a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles. Uh, there's been a lot of highs, there's been a lot of lows. And, and we had to, sometimes one moment could have wrecked this whole campaign. From one moment of feeling could have wrecked this whole campaign, could have stopped it. But it didn't. We kept going because we kept believing, we kept believing, and we kept believing. And now we're here today at uh, Pope John Paul II Cultural Center, and the torch has finally arrived home. Today is uh, March 23rd, 32, ca 32, 32 day campaign called SOS the Americas. And uh, we're making a brief stop here now because. We're preparing a huge event on April 14th, 2010. 
on that on morning, that. we're going to come here, gather here with a hundred students, students from uh, Washington. We're going to light the torch here to begin the second half of uh, Pope John Paul II, his journey. We're going to begin the second half, and the kids are going to carry the torch from here to the Capitol Center, hoping to try and bring as many people together as possible, because that was the Pope's wish. We're going to go in front of the Pope right now. Um, right here, I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling you know it. What I mean, like here's, I mean, just picture it, picture it, like ten years ago. Yeah, that's this is. He received this torch and blessed it, and here I am, ten years later, bring the torch back to him. Yeah. Can you dig that? Yeah, I really, yeah, I really dig it. Yeah, yeah, you I know, can. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. Despite everything that's happened, you know, like all the victory and all the highs and lows, we made it. Yeah. And I hope to see you again. Oh, you and will. And then the final destination. On the 14th. On the 14th, you're coming, you coming yeah, back? you have to. What 14th of what is it? Uh, April. April 14th. Mm -hmm. We're going to have about 100 kids. Mm -hmm. We're going to light the torch here. That's great. Oh, and goodness. it's going to be carried from here to the uh, Capitol Reflection Pool. Mm -hmm. And our hopes is to try and get as many people, including both parties, uh, Republican and Democratic, Senators and congressmen to come out and receive the torch. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. It it's will. Be historical it will. Yeah, Try to so get both of them to agree on something. Today. Yeah, <laughs> even if it's just for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. You know, just to hold the torch mm -hmm. for that 10, just to say, look, you know, by you doing this, you're going to bring so much hope and power to people, and, and you're giving so much hope to those, especially 25,000 children. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, man. Guys, yeah. gonna bless this event. <laughs> the kids. Oh, the kids. Okay, we, we designate kids in each city, mm -hmm. and then they pick it up and carry it through. And then See, it involving the youth is very important today's time because a lot of time. You know, we don't need to talk about the folk students because they're genuine, and they will bring the message to to the whole world. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've been doing for ten years. That is wonderful. He'll be very <laughs> proud of you, and I know he's gonna bless every step of your, every step of your way. I know that. I know that. Mm, that's yeah. that's why I've gotten this far because I believe that. I believe that 100% with all my heart, and, and and that's why, you know, we're we're still caring. You know, this torch is is a torch. It's wood. Mm -hmm. It's but yeah, if you, yeah. I just want to encourage all our viewers out there to please support this cause. It's a very valuable cause, and it shows the love of humanity towards humans. Uh, if we love each other, uh, there's more likely that there will be less conflict around the world. And this is just uh, an example that hope, that hope that not only uh, the Pope John Paul II has given us, blessed by Jesus Christ, who is the lover of all. Thank you, and please support this cause. It's a great cause, and I think we're going to reach the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. He sees this tape and they think, you know what I mean? It's gone. So if you want to jump on board and be part of this historic uh, event here, then, you know what, do the right thing. Do the right thing. He sees this tape and they think, you know what I mean? It's gone. So if you want to jump on board and be part of this historic uh, event here, then, you know what, do the right thing. Do the right thing.